Special thanks to Florana. Never give up. Or any other directions. They're yours. You're not a charity. Rusty Quill presents Stella Firma. Another day, another lots and lots of board cred. <sighs> oh! Oh, the, the vent. Um, right, I'm just going to go stand by these cupboards and wait for tracks. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> David! <laughs> David, why are you standing in front of the cupboards? Trexel, oh. why did you come out of the cupboards? Oh, your hard body has dented me. <sighs> wait, how did you come out of the cupboards? Is there a vent back there? It's a second vent behind the cupboards, David. Ugh. I didn't want to land on you again, but you moved, you what? competent I didn't, fool. I didn't want you to land on me again, so I moved. Ah, ah, remember, David, never do anything of your own volition. Your volition is stupid. Ow, oh, my ah. The only real volition is Imogen. Hooray for Imogen. Rude and <sighs> come up and had bendy body. And you've destroyed all of my plates. Oh, no. Look what's happened to the plates. Who will wash them now? Oh, they can't because you can't wash a smashed plate. Did what you, a shame, David. Did, what did, a shame. No plunger here. No no sink chancellor needed. Position closed. What, what are people going to do? Just eat out of cupped hands? I always eat out of cupped hands. Or maybe a cupped foot if I'm feeling particularly bendy. But maybe we can pivot to sort of a gimmick restaurant. Come to David's plate. You've got to eat out of your hand. I can work with this. I can work with this. I'll get on to marketing. Warning. That plate eatery has been flagged for being both unhygienic and upsetting. I'm sorry, marketing? Well, you're, yeah. you're engaging in mar- David, you're lying low! You are hiding! We Don't can... engage in marketing! No, marketing is me. I, I put on a special marketing hat and sit in the office and work out how to market it. Hang on a minute. You're telling me there's a special hat and I don't have it? Show me this special hat. No. Show me this special hat. Uh, no, I'm not. David? That's, it's my hat. Da- David, I'm not going to take it away from you. I just want to see the special hat. Fine, fine, let me... Here it is. Oh, yeah! No, 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 no! Look, oh, no, look at me. I declare that you should market your restaurant by closing down because it's stupid. So no. it says marketing. No. Sorry, Get David. Back. 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 I I'm taking that your David's place is great and it's the best marketing thing and we love your hermit crab motif. Okay, great, fine. Sounds like you've surrounded yourself with a yes you. Well, I, yes, it's nicer than having a no everyone else like normal. Anyway, but what do you want? What I, what I want, David... Yes. I want to change your life. And my life has changed too. Now, you may remember I did a little bit of a cry yesterday because you pointed out to me that my entire identity as an individual and member of the proud and wide tradition of families of Stella Firma has been completely stripped away because I'm no longer a consultant. I'm yeah, well, no longer an executive track person. I'm just, I'm just nothing. I'm just well, Trexel Geistman. And so I'm hoping no, at this point you've realised that your job shouldn't be your entire identity and you should actually get an identity outside of the consultancy, which you are no longer doing. Warning, self-determination is not an official or endorsed stance of Stella Firma Limited. Why not try staying in your place instead? That's an interesting idea, but what I've done instead, David, is I've decided I'm going to be a spy. You're going to be a spy. And I don't need you anymore. So I just came to tell you I'm going to be a spy and you can shove it. Right. Shove it up your cafeteria. Okay, and and how are you going to be a spy? Are you going to spy school or...? Well, well, what I was doing is, while I was sort of wandering bleakly in my existentially crisis way, I went and met Fernsworth. Do you know Fernsworth? Uh, no, Trexel, obviously I don't know Fernsworth. Oh, you love Fernsworth. Now, I've never seen her. I've only heard her voice crackly over a mysterious line. But she is uh, real high up in the sabotage and espionage department, you see? Right. Do not trust mystery voices from unseen beings. 
other than me. That's right. Sabotage and espionage. And their motto. It's great. You'd love their motto. Uh, Mm -hmm. It's a bit hard to see because it's a black card and then they print it on black. So you sort of have to hold it up in the light and part of it's matte and part of it's shy. It's very cool, David. The important thing is it's very cool. How did you get hold of one of these cards? Oh, I stole it. Like a spy would. Okay, I mean, I guess that is a good start. Where Out st- of somebody's satchel. Right. After I hit them over the head like a spy. I mugged them. I mugged somebody. Now, this uh, motto is know your competition, strike them down hard and without mercy. Okay, well, I mean, I suppose you struck that person down hard and without mercy. So- no mercy to I regret nothing. <laughs> they were bleeding. Oh, spies. Was this Fernsworth? Oh, no, 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 no. I spoke to Fernsworth afterwards. She called me and said, Oh, you're going to be murdered in your bed for what you've done. I said, Ha ha, joke's on you. Don't sleep in a bed. I sleep in the vents. And she was all like, Oh, you sleep in the vents. Maybe that's something we can... T-. Yeah, and we, we got into a bit of a back and forth. We really hit it off. Um, Fernsworth, my friend now. So, you know, just just putting that out there. You know, just in case that, you know, shames you or, or makes you jealous. Because, yeah, Fernsworth's my friend. I don't know if you've got a friend who's a spy. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe, no. maybe, maybe you can ask Angry Jim. Maybe you yeah, can I've ask got, Angry Jim. I've Is just... Angry Jim a spy? No, Angry Jim's a mechanic. No, I've just got 30 to 50 regulars who are all very lovely and give me money. Even by Trexillian standards, this is embarrassing. Well, I had a phone conversation with... Fernsworth, it's not important. Now, the thing about this, the thing about this, David, is it means I I don't need you anymore because I'm going to be the world's greatest spy. Mm -hmm. The universe's most bestest spy. And I've actually already made my business cards. Here you go. Trexel Geisman, spy. I'm a spy. Here's my address. It's the vents. Okay. um, Here's my phone number. I'm a spy. Isn't that a bit of a problem, being a spy? How so? Well, you kind of don't want people to know your identity because that's, I mean, that's, as far as I know, and hey, I haven't I haven't got a friend who's a spy, but as far as I know, the whole point of being a spy is people don't know who you really are. No, no, the whole point of being a spy is wearing a tuxedo and gambling away large amounts of money. So this is going to be a, a gambling-based spy gam- What What does sabotage and espionage actually do? Okay, okay, okay. Imagine this. You are a trade delegation um, from Quadrant J. Let's just say. Let's pick in a quadrant out of air. I'm going with J. Okay. And that trade delegation contains a, a, a subterranean ring of espionage against Stella Firma. You know, they're, they're here for trade talks, but actually they're going to steal uh, diamonds, perhaps diamonds. Okay. Everyone does love diamonds. Uh, and I'm, I'm Trexel Geisman's spy, and we're hosting a big gala dinner. And I walk in there and go, good evening, everybody. I'm a super cool spy. And they're all like, huh, I'd like to know this spy. Here are my secrets. And I take the secrets and I drink heavily. And then I fire a gun repeatedly into the ceiling until, you know, spying time's over. Spy, here's my card. Do you, do you really think that? You're, you're paraphrasing, right? Paraphrasing, what does that mean? That's not your. That's not actually your plan. Yeah, that, that's the whole plan, start to finish. Okay. Uh, take, look, we haven't done this in a while, but t- role play. Ah, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I, I like role play. Uh, Imogen, um, could you think you can manage a role play in this dingy cafeteria hellhole? Portable role playing holodome activated. Thank you. Okay, right. So I am a what did you say? Quadrant J, and I uh, have trade delegation of Quadrant J. Trade delegation of. Get into it, David. Okay, trade delegation of Quadrant J. Oh, I love Quadrant J. And do you know what I hate? Stella. Watch it, Buster. There may not be gun walls here, but I can still ruin you. The, yes, that. We all know what that means. Uh, in the role play thing. Fine. So, I have all these secrets that I don't want to give up. And uh, I'm sitting in my casino. Excuse me, good sir. Yes, hello. Can I perhaps interest you in a gun? Because I'm a spy! Bang, bang! Bang, 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 bang! Bang, bang, bang! I'll have a dry martini, which is a martini, except I'm sitting in a giant glass. Oh, well, I'm now playing the rest of Quadrant J's trade delegation, and we've all got our guns and have shot you. What? What did I do? Shot one of them. Immediately. I didn't, I didn't shoot them. I merely shot in their direction and they got in the way. That's spy games. But that's spy lateral damage. Incorrect. This is unilateral murder, which is the sole preserve of the board. Regardless of your justification for how the bullets got into them. Yes. You still shot them and said you were a spy. Okay. So everyone else then goes, oh, look, a spy. 
Hooray, we don't... a spy! Spies no. are cool, have a drink. But also, they don't... our secrets. But they don't like spies. They're... That's the point. That's why spies what? are secretive. I'm sorry, what? Who doesn't like a spy? They're the coolest! Okay, okay. What if... Have you met Fernsworth? I haven't. Okay, so let's say I'm a spy from Galactonium. I always suspected Imogen! Get him! Get him with your gun walls! Bang, bang, bang! Die! No. Die, Galactonium Tre scum! Firstly, there are no gun walls. And secondly... No. Trexel. Trexel. Eat this, Bathin's pawn! Trexel, stop it! Uh, sorry, sorry, I got I got into it. I got you into it. Exactly. But I said I was a spy, and you <gasps> didn't like me. Because people don't like spies from the other side. Yes. I just like Stella Firma spies. You'd like Galactonium spies no, I like you're a scumbag. No, you're a I scumbag like and you deserve no. to die. That's, okay. that's what we've learned here. You're Trexel. a Galactonium sh sh poltroon. Trexel, I'm not a spy from Galactonium. That was, I was just illustrating. Why did you say it, David? No, I heard it with my little ear shells. They yes, picked up your noises. I was, I was proving a point. Trexel, the point is, if I was a spy from Galactonium, I wouldn't say I was one because then I'd have that reaction. Do you see? I'm starting to see your point, David, yes. Right. Perhaps being a spy is more about not telling people you're a spy. Yes. Which somewhat defeats the point of being a spy as far as I'm... Hang on, let me just have a little, little look here. So, so the whole... Po hang on, let me... I've got, I've got a brochure here. Okay. From Department of Sabotage and Espionage. So if I'm reading this right, and by right I mean for the very first time, because up until now I was pretty sure I just understood what a spy was, but apparently not. Right. So it's saying I have to dress up as like a galactonium pawn and go to Galactonium and pretend to be from Galactonium in order to get secrets from Galactonium. Yes. I can't tell them I'm a spy and people think I'm a Galactonian, which is horrible. Being, being a spy seems awful. Well, I think I, th I think people get off on the whole, you know, the adrenaline rush of, of at any point they could be found out and, and killed. But to be quite honest, I have lived that life where at any point I could just be killed for no particular reason. Mm. And do you know what? It's really not all that. No, no I, right? I've, I've lived my entire life with the, with the sure certainty that my position and status will ultimately protect me from any mortal repercussions, so... Doesn't sound like it's for me. You know what, David? This is why people always tell me, Trexel, read things. And you know what? Don't even start in the middle. Start at the top and then go down. I mean, I've never got it before, but I mean, this is one instance where I probably would have saved myself a lot of time fantasizing about being a spy. Look, right at the top here, sabotage and espionage, a division of business warfare. Your loved ones might never see you again. <laughs> uh, oh, I probably should have started there, shouldn't I? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, bullet dodged. I won't be a spy. I'll just be... Oh, I'm back here again. Well, where will I be? I'm just... Trexel. You could be a... plate repairer. Well, just glue the... glue the plates back together. Yep. Then wash them. Yep. Sounds an awful lot like that plongeur business, except with glue involved. Uh, you could be an executive plate consultant. Yes, I suppose I could be an executive plate consultant. Maybe, David, maybe you're right. Maybe there isn't more to this world. Maybe you should just find something that you're good at and that you love and then just engage in it and not worry about hierarchy and recognition and danger and just, just enjoy what you have. Bored, that sounds stupid. Well, look, you could, we could, we could, we could, we could compromise, right? Because I'd, I'd rather you didn't just go off and get yourself killed, all told. I am genuinely interested as to why you would not want that. Really? But, but David, I, I thought I thought the way we left it last time that you were very much along the lines of you you go off and do what you want, Trexel, you stupid fool, and I, David, who's finally found what they love and are engaging in it, can stay here in my lovely, fulfilled pod of yeah. David's place, little hermit crab shell. Yeah, but I didn't want to didn't expect you to go and throw yourself into the teeth of Galactonium gun barrels. Well, what else was I supposed to do, David? When somebody rejects you, put yourself in mortal danger to win back their li uh, I mean, to, to, uh, it doesn't matter what they think because you're Trexel Geisman, best person in the world. Yikes. Okay, we're gonna, we're, <sighs> we're gonna blast past that one. Please, Trexel. please do. Blast away. Also because, I mean, the subtext wasn't exactly that sub, it was more just text. I just do text, David! You're Trexel Geistman. I've got no subtext. Or yeah. subcutaneous tissues. I'm just all, like, in and out. There's no midpoint. And also, I don't allow subletting. Uh, uh, sure, fine. But look, look, we can compromise, right? Why don't you... You can be a spy, right? 
Because, I mean, you were a detective I? for a bit. Oh, yes, I was, wasn't I? Hang on, I've still got the tape here. He sits in the stupid cafe with this stupid oh. idiot person who he doesn't care about, smoking a cigarette that he doesn't smoke, and he flicks into the corner and it lights a table on fire. Oh, no, 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 just... <laughs> Deploying anti-noir detective fire foam. Right, look, you can go undercover in the kitchens as a plongeur, right? With, with... David Seven never suspecting anything. He'd oh. never know that Trexel Geisman, or maybe we could de- develop an alter ego for you yes. so you don't Trexel use the name Geisman Trexel Geisman. With Y's instead of the I's. No, maybe change it a bit more because I think David might see through that because David knows <laughs> Trexel so. quite I, well. Pretty stupid. Pretty stupid is David, so. Okay, well, well, hang on. Why don't we just call you Lexert? Lexert? Yeah, it's Trexel backwards. Oh, no one will ever spot that. Yes. Um, Namtsieg. Is that Geisman backwards? Yes, it is. Lexel, Think about Lexel it. Lexel Namtsieg? Namtsieg. Na, na, how, how, no, say it again. Namtsieg. Say Nam, it again. Namtsieg. Lexel Namtsieg. It sounds like I'm a cursed tape being played backwards to some frightened children at Halloween. I mean, aren't you? Oh, in a way, I like it. I will be Lexel Namtsieg. Uh, okay, you could just say Namtsieg. Nam. Eeg. Okay, fine. If you want to be called Lexa, I'm a creepy Nam- tape. Eeg. You can. Oh, look at me! I'm a spooky tape. Aren't I great and engaging? Yeah. Well, you can get into the kitchen, Lexa Namtsieg, and 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 foolish David would ever suspect a thing as you collect information <laughs> about how David runs his business and can then leave notes around suggesting how he could improve engagement with customers and footfall. And then sell them out to the authorities to win justice. Let's not do that bit, because then Lexa Namtsieg will also be unmasked as Trexel Geistman, wanted criminal! <gasps> no! I have been unmasked. All right, fine. I'll do it. I agree. After all this hemming and hawing and toing and froing, you've finally, finally been beaten, David. I am now going to go into that kitchen and clean plates as a spy. And there's no. nothing you can do about it, you no. idiot! No! <laughs> I am undone! No! Uh. Warning, line manager detected. Oh, look, it's Hartrow, and she's got a gun. Oh, look, it's Hartrow, and what? she's got a gun! That's Whoa. right. It's Hartrow with a gun. Come to collect the boys. Wait, is that is that gun made of paper? Like a paper gun? No, no, no. What what do you know about paper, David Seven? What, what do you know about guns? I'll, I'll admit, I'm... Not enough to be sure that you won't shoot me with your paper gun. That's right. Sold to the woman with the gun. It's a gun. I've got it. I've got the upper hand. Now listen, boys. I've been staking the joint out, and you're coming with me. Okay, okay um, that's all right. Fine. We'll, we'll come with the. We'll come with you, Gun Hartro. That's good, Trexel. That's good. But this is my place, David. David, not now. David, you're a clone. Do you know what that means? Uh. But I'm David? It means that you don't have a place. What what have, you, what have you been doing down here where you've been hiding? Um, if, if you if you turned this ridiculous derelict place into have you been running it like a cafe? A, a moderately successful cafe, yes. So so sad. Harsh. Oh. This seems unnecessarily hurtful. Come on, David. Abandon your stupid shattered dreams and come with me and Hartro with this paper gun. Oh. It's a real gun. It was inevitable. You know that, David. I guess it wouldn't last. I... Nothing ever does. <laughs> Onwards into inevitable death. Okay. Well, nice while it lasted. Incinerating room now. Stella Firma is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill Limited and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. It was created by Tim Meredith and Ben Meredith and produced by Katie Seaton with executive producer Alexander J. Newell. In today's episode, Imogen was played by Imogen Harris. David Seven was played by Ben Meredith. Trexel Geisman was played by Tim Meredith. Hartro Piltz was played by Jenny Halfeck. Editing was by Maddie Searle, with music by Samuel D.F. Jones and artwork by Anna Kakan. Mastering by Jeffrey Nils Gardner. To subscribe, buy merchandise, or join our Discord server, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online. Tweet us at the Rusty Quill. Join our Reddit community on r slash rustyquill. Visit us on Facebook or email us via mail at rustyquill.com. May the board preserve and keep you. Hi everyone, Alex here. I'd just like to take a moment to thank some of our patrons. The Flying Piano, 
Anna. Christian Nabley. This is Trash King. Catherine N. Shane Crowley. Robert Johnson. Cats and Bolts. Sarah Kitchen. Schneefink. Spooky Ghost Boy. Lissy. Indigo Lee. Kate Sanchez. The Cookie of Doom. Dana Milligan. David McCallick. XBF Noodles. Voivre. Casey Robertson. Chris Zvierken. Amelia Ford. Mr. Don. Mia Kong. Alice Erebus. Nine. Alice Kneep. Holoxam. Aaron Mitchell. Christina Connolly. Emily Brooks Martin. Caroline Schmidt. Rebecca Bonomi. Falcom Reynolds. Kirsty Proctor. Parker. Salem Helgadottir. Rebecca Burrows. AC. Amber. Eternitarian. Buff Mothman. Stuart Platt. Michael Goulish. Lauren Fisher. Agru. Dane. I like cetaceans. And SCP-2521. Thank you all. We really appreciate your support. If you'd like to join them, go to www.patreon.com forward slash Rusty Quill and take a look at our rewards. Hi, Tim Meredith here. I play Trexel Geisman on Stella Firma, and I'm here to tell you about this episode's sponsor, The Stormlight Archive, Volume 4, Rhythm of War, by universally best-selling author Brandon Sanderson. Sanderson is an incredibly detailed world builder, and we know a thing or two about planet design on this show. The Stormlight Archives features some of the coolest places you'll ever read. From the labyrinthine trench city of Yedor's twisting pathways, to the constant shallows of the Pure Lake, where enchanted fish school in life-giving waters, to the storm and magic-battered slopes of the Shattered Plains, the world of Sanderson's is as wild as it is large, and it is enormous. Which all sounds lovely. I wonder if Sanderson's considered making the planet's surface a, a trough for all those fish, though. Maybe I should call him. To buy Brandon Sanderson's Rhythm of War, the latest in the New York Times best-selling Stormlight Archive saga, search for Rhythm of War wherever books are sold, or visit the link in this episode's description.